Hi everyone, this is Jarle for Possum Stamps. Thank you for joining me today. I created uh, a cute little scene into an interactive box card. Now let's see how I made this. I used the Happy Camber stamp set, which was a set that was uh, included in the first release of Possum Stamps. Then I also used a few dies to create my box card. For the tabs I used some grassy hills there. Then on to the paper, I have some gingham paper in the color blue violet, then some yellow green cardstock and some uh, lilac cardstock. And then for my coloring I use the Transotype Perfect Coloring Paper. This is actually now my favorite paper for Copic coloring. I placed all of my images into my Misty and then stamped all the images using a very black and Copic friendly ink, since I was going to be doing some Copic coloring. I actually stamped my images twice, because I always like a very black dark line. Now, to enhance this a bit, I used my Copic multi-liner where the lines weren't stamped perfectly. Now on to the coloring. You can see the colors that I used on the top left of your screen since I placed my caps there, so you can follow along with the colors that I used. Now here I am using some yellow-green markers for all of the green shades in my coloring. For the bears I have used, I think, an E74, E33, E31 and E30. Now, as you can see, I always start with my darkest color, where the shadows would hit. And then I blend that one out, that darkest color, I blend that one out with my medium shade, and I blend my medium out with my lightest shade. And I repeat this twice. Uh, it always seems that the... Uh, the second time I get a very good blend, much better than why, when I went over it the first time. I am not a coloring artist and there are many, many other crafters out there um, that do wonderful things with their Copic markers. Uh, but I am not one of them. <laughs> now, I do want to mention this uh, color combination is actually my favorite one for bears. Now, for the tree, I used my E70 markers. I think I only own about uh, three or four, uh, so I always go back to the same ones. I don't know if you see it in the video quite enough, but I always tend to use kind of a flicking motion. Uh, when I was a toddler, they always taught me to color in circles so you don't have streaks or hard lines. Uh, but when I took a coloring, a coloring class of Mindy Baxter, I believe, uh, she said it was always best to do kind of a flicking motion. Um, and now I'm very used to doing it this, uh, this, this way. With a flicking motion uh, you get a, a very good color variation because there where your tip hits the paper, there it's always darker than at the end of the flick. So I think it seems very reasonable to do it this way. For the camper I used some reds, so R, uh, R89, R56 and R83. And then for the uh, blue-violet shade I used BV08, BV04, BV02 and 01. Then of course I die cut out all my images using those coordinating dies. As I already said, I am very happy that coordinating dies are available since I don't like fussy cutting 
and I'm terrible at it also. Now here are all the pieces that I die cut off camera and those are all to assemble my box cards. It's actually very easy to assemble. You just put on some uh, very strong tape and then you can assemble it. But I will show you that later. Here I decided that I wanted to add a little bit of ink at the edges of my, uh, of my background and at the edges of my grassy borders there. So I went with the, shade, uh, with the shaded lilac here in the regular Distress ink to shade my background a bit. And then I used the Mode Lawn to ink blend a bit on top of my grassy borders. This gives it a little bit of color variation and I always like this. It gives a little bit more of interest to my card. So here I put some very strong adhesive. I used score tape uh, and I put this at the tabs. And then you just have to release the backing paper and then uh, glue it into place. So as you can see here, it's very simple. You just have to glue down three of those tabs. But before closing the box, I always like to uh, insert my grass first. So again, releasing that backing paper and I'm putting all of those grassy borders inside. I have three of them. Then I'm lining them up straight, releasing that backing paper again and then closing that uh, right tab. Actually, just closing it like a book and then it adheres to that part of the box. I'm just wiggling around a bit to see if the mechanism works. And then with some liquid glue, I glue down my lilac background. I always use liquid adhesive for this so I can wiggle it around a bit so it's nice and straight. Now on to assembling the cards or adhering all of the images inside my box. I started with the camper, of course. This would be at the back of my little scene. The camper fits perfectly into that little box. And then I use my tweezers so the glue could stick on there very well. Here I adhered all of my images, taking those tweezers again to make sure everything is adhered just right. Okay, so now it just needs another sentiment. And I took out my stamp set again and went for that second one there. Every day is an adventure. This will be a very cute friendship card. So I took off, I took up my stamp using a stamping block and then I stamped the sentiment using VersaFine ink. This is the best ink for sentiments since it stamps very crisp. As you can see, I also ink blended the sides of my sentiment strip there a bit, just so that everything is cohesive. I glued it down with some liquid glue and then this finishes off the cards for today. I hope you like this adorable little scene with the bears and the camper. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you very much and I will see you very soon. Bye!